Hello and welcome to another edition of the Mayor Dan Plutko Show. I'm pleased to have as my guests Mark and Carol Slater who are going to explain to us and talk to us about the 10th annual Veterans Day dinner. Carol, Mark, thanks for being a, a guest. So it, this is a, a great event that annually and you guys both do such a great job and I'm so glad you came up with the idea but give us some details of what's going to take place uh, in early November. Yeah, this is our uh, 10th annual uh, Kiwanis uh, Veterans Appreciation Dinner uh, citywide for the city of Dearborn Heights. Uh, it'll take place on Thursday November the 10th which is the day before Veterans Day and it'll be at the uh, Stitt American Legion Post, uh, which is located near the corner of Warren and Telegraph. Mm -hmm. uh, 6.30 p.m. Uh, we've got a, a nice program <coughs> planned uh, with a, a speaker that's uh, coming in from out of town, and uh, we'll also have a great dinner uh, buffet at the Stitt Post. Mm -hmm. Now tell us a little bit about the speaker, because you have a, a female veteran that's coming out. Sounds like a, a great entertaining night. I think she can be a dynamic speaker. Give us a little details about her. She's Major Michelle Rule. She's a major, one of the few majors, which is a very good role model for women. Um, she put in over 800 uh, flight hours in Afghanistan alone. She's a pilot. And um, she has flown a number of planes. She's from Colorado Springs now. That's where she's stationed. Is she Air Force or Navy or? She's, she got her training in through the Navy. She got her wings through the Navy. She's in the Air Force. Okay, so, so major in the Air Force. She's a major in the Air Force, yes. So she's in uh, Colorado Springs right now. And um, after all her Everything that she did when she was when what she does is she takes an active part in the wounded warriors. Mm -hmm. So you have the the soldiers that are depressed or going through some some tragic time, and she plays music that you know that relaxes them. And then she has the horses, which is very therapeutic. The horses and the dogs. She might bring some of her music, and she'll play it for us. She's excited about coming here. She seems like very young uh, from her picture. Uh, she can't be that old. Uh, do you have any idea how old is she? I didn't mean to no. stump you with a question, but she no, seems I, like a very young woman. Yeah, yeah. So she's um, she's married. She just had her first little baby, and the middle name is Sky. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was very appropriate. Um, so more to come. Now Our she, first female mm -hmm. speaker, by the way. Yes, and, and so she lives in the Colorado area, so yes, she's, she's flying from, in special for the event. Right. She's from the Dearborn area. Okay. And so when she went into the service, then she stayed there, and now she's married. And her husband is also a, a, a pilot, and I don't know if that's where they met, but I think they're flying together, and he's going to fly the plane because he's retired now. So he works for the airlines here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sounded uh, from the brochure that some of these planes she's flown are active combat planes. Yes. This is, uh, she, she must have seen active duty, I would say, in conflict from what, uh, given the, the type of planes that uh, were yeah. cited in her biography. Right. Yeah, active yeah. duty in uh, Afghanistan. Yes. Well, now, one of the, the great things, besides the camaraderie and everything else, is the excellent meal. I mean, uh, the price of admission is, is worthy of the meal, let alone all the camaraderie and, and the speaker and everything else. So another excellent dinner in Shore? Yeah. Uh, many from Dearborn Heights have been to events at uh, Stitt Post, and it's always good. Uh, have a, a, a big buffet, uh, very delicious. Uh, caterers Helena mm -hmm. does a great job, and uh, no one will go home hungry, that's for sure. No, no question about it. It's excellent food. Uh, <laughs> if one is out there watching this and is interested in attending, what do they have to do? Call me. Okay. Just call me. And we'll put your number on the bottom. Yes, right? yes. 
and um, and then I'll see if there are tickets available because so far we've already sold 175 tickets. We have 25 more to go, so it's it's coming in. The calls are coming in, and I'm sending out the tickets. And there's still time to send out the tickets. Um, I, we don't really like um, to have anybody pay at the door because at this late date, with only 25 slots left, mm -hmm. um, I don't know if we'll be able to hold. We mm -hmm. have to. We have to keep their their name, and we have to give the count to the mm -hmm. caterer. And then you uh, have some veterans that have already been invited. And then the other thing that's really yeah. nice is why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do at some of the area schools and the inviting of uh, some students. Sure, we have uh, our Kiwanis Club sponsors 20 students to come from uh, local high schools, uh, Crestwood High School, Robichaux, Divine Child, and Annapolis. And uh, they all come for the dinner. Um, and for many, it's their first opportunity uh, to meet a veteran. Uh, and we found over the years that this is actually one of the most rewarding parts of the, of the mm -hmm. program is uh, having the students there, they get to hear the veterans speak about their experiences, uh, real life experiences. Uh, mm -hmm. And um, they often at the end of the program, the, the students line up to talk to the veterans and get a photo opportunity with the veterans. So it's, uh, it's a real special aspect of the program. I, I think that is so important, and, and, uh, and it is to see the in, inner connection between the students and these veterans is just fantastic. I, I do want to indicate to both of you that this is a great event. Um, as mayor, on behalf of all of our veterans and the community, You've done a great job on this. You're, I can't say enough good things and give you enough kudos. Um, this thing is, and, and based upon the way the tickets are being sold, this is obviously people who have attended in the past want to come to the next one. And this is probably going to be, they keep getting better, and this one will probably be even better than the other nine, but I mean, it really is a credit to two of you. I, I want to thank both of you publicly for air, all your effort and what you've done. So, um, good job. Thanks very thank much. Thank you. Thanks very much. And you know, for us, it's Carol and I. It's um, it's an honor, really, to to be able to um, act on you know behalf of Kiwanis and Dearborn Heights uh, as a whole, as a community, uh, to honor our veterans. Mm -hmm. um, many times when Carol and I are out speaking to to groups and uh, recruiting um, the community to come and, and buy tickets and support. Many times they, they ask if, if I was in what branch of the service. They just assume I was in the service. and I was never in the service. And for that reason, I feel all the more compelled to mm -hmm. uh, honor those who have laid their lives on the, on the line for me and Carol. How, how did the idea come about? Uh, it, was it a joint it just happened or did one of you get inspired I, 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 you may have told me before but I'm just kind of interested how I can tell you how happen? it happened with me I listened to my uncle Frankie for years talk about how he almost died the, when he was on the USS Franklin and he was okay. in the water almost drowned there was a fire this was when they were at war and so I've heard the story so many times and then Mark said, we should honor our Veterans Day. Wouldn't that be a nice event to have for Kiwanis? And I said, yeah, uh, we need a speaker. Where do we even begin? And I'm thinking, Uncle Frankie, he was our first speaker. And actually, to give credit specifically to the, to the person that had the idea, um, his name is Linus Drugs. Oh, yeah. He's a member of the Dearborn Heights Kiwanis for a number of years. And uh, we were having... <coughs> At the beginning of uh, a year, we were having a planning session of ways to serve the community. And Linus said, you know what, sometime we should have some kind of event to honor veterans. And then about a year later, the first one took place. Carol and I took, mm -hmm. took the reins and it took place. So. And Linus is such an interesting character. Does he still do that turtle dance or is that, wasn't he the one that used to do that? Yeah, that was his turtle dance. Yeah, we should probably, put, if, if, 
anybody out in the audience is looking to do good community service and to be in a great group that has a lot of fun, the Kiwanis are it, right? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a great community service organization. Our primary uh, focus for Kiwanis um, locally and worldwide is on children. Um, our motto is that we serve the children of the world. And um, a lot of people may not know it, but Kiwanis, uh, as an international organization, was actually founded in Detroit. Club number one is the Detroit Club, and it was founded uh, 100 years ago, celebrated the 100th anniversary last year, and is all across the country and has many chapters around the world now. Mm -hmm. Although, uh, when I go down for the Indianapolis 500, I come along, I think it's 465 yep. or 469, I can't remember the, uh, the number, yep. but I'll always see that Kiwanis International Building. So is that the mm -hmm. world That's headquarters? The yep. That's headquarters. Yep. Yep. So we're, you know, we're proud of uh, the things that we accomplish in the, in the community. Uh, the, the main thing is to have members to do so. So we do ask that if people have uh, uh, some time and they're community oriented, would like to help out, uh, we, would, we would love to um, have you come, come to one of our meetings. Uh, we meet on the uh, first and third Thursdays at the Justice Center uh, on Michigan Avenue. Mm -hmm. And uh, for contact information, the phone number that appears for tickets for this event, that's Carol and, Carol and I's phone number, and uh, we can give you information about membership also. So I'd be happy to sponsor, bring them to the event, uh, their first meeting, and so uh, you'd be a nice greeter, welcoming, and introduce them to all the people. But it is, I've attended the meetings, uh, they're, they have a good, good time. There's no question about it. At the same time, you're doing good things in the community. So your heart feels good about what you're doing, but at the same time, the camaraderie and the friendship is, is something that's really great. And both of you have been uh, members for some years now, haven't you? Because both of you are past presidents, right? Yes, 15 years. 15 years? 2001. Yep. Goes by quick. It does. It's hard to believe. Yeah, I had, uh, when I was at Crestwood High School, I was in the Key Club, one of the charter members, and uh, it was Mr. McDonald was the person. I don't know if you ever had contact with him. Uh, he passed away a few years ago, but he was the one that assisted us as the original Key Club, and that was a great organization. And uh, we did a lot of good stuff at Crestwood, so it's, uh, and we had a good time, kind of the same thing. And they allowed us to go to the adult meetings, but they didn't find us. Maybe I shouldn't talk about that <laughs> aspect of the meeting, but uh, uh, after you're a member for a while, they don't, you don't do it for new members, but uh, you uh, kiddingly find to build up some money for good charitable works, I guess the way to say it. Yep. So mm -hmm. you can get fined for anything and everything. Sure can, it's yep. fun. So it is, it's a, it's a good time. But getting back to the dinner, um, once again, that's what day and what time? It's Thursday, November the 10th, 6.30 p.m. And as Carol said, we have about 25 uh, spaces still available. And you know, one of the questions we get sometimes is, uh, you know, do you have to be a veteran to attend or family member? You know, this is an opportunity for everyone in the community to come out and support veterans. Mm -hmm. And it's a relatively low cost way to show a little love. It's uh, $20 for adults, $10 for students. But Dearborn Heights veterans get in free. Okay. We sponsor their dinner. Good. So give us a call and, you know, we'll. We'll get those last 25 tickets sold and fill up the stit post and you know we'll be able to show a lot of appreciation to our, our veterans. That sounds great and we do appreciate uh, both of you what you do and you being on my show today to explain the upcoming event. Keep up the good work and thank you for uh, uh, coming and sharing that with us and I'd like to thank the audience for watching another edition of the Mayor Dan Plutko Show. <laughs>